Uh, so you recording? Yeah. Alright, so he hooked up. So first, one of the main... I can't see. Actually, let me get you to record. Um, so one of the main... Well, the first thing, I have to set this at negative 12. Sorry, this at positive 12, this at negative 12. And we do that by putting on the sensor, the, the ammeter, um, the ground goes to the negative. So the negative goes to the ground here. And then the positive goes to the plus 15, and we set that at 12. For this one, we put the ground for the negative again, and then set this to minus 12. Okay? So that's one of the things that we had wrong. Now we have the plus 15 going into the power, which comes through the ammeter, right? Um, which we want to measure this, so that's why it's the first thing that's happening. This is where we put the ammeter in line with that. And then here's part of the ammeter, and then it goes over here. Okay, so that's for the very first resistor. Then from the first resistor, it jumps into the two notes, the two resistors in parallel. But after that, you have the negative, <clears throat> the negative 12 volts. And that is where this comes in handy. And that's the negative 12 volt there and you don't have to have it going out that's the weird thing you don't need like a second line going out to the positive for, for whatever reason so ignoring that there's one more aspect and that's coming from over here this is our variable voltage supply which goes with this and they by the way if you don't remember this was reversed so the positive on the bottom and so we can change this voltage and that voltage is between the 2.2 k ohm resistor and the uh, the ground so basically we want positive we want sorry we want negative anyways so let's see where it goes and we can just look so here's the ground that's all going to the ground you can see this red wire going to ground this here positive or in this case negative that is the other terminal of the voltage and that is going up by the 4.7 k ohm resistor i hope it doesn't look like it is but honestly at this point oh that's that's the wrong thing okay there we go that is perfect that red red that's a 2.2 and that's our variable all right so it's right next to the 2.2 which is the red red exactly where it should be sorry for the confusion with my words there but the the negative part is right by that 2.2 and that's all that's going on once we do that we should be able to find a voltage where voltage 8.8 8.8 voltage matches up with 8.8 and that is the whole story whether it makes sense or not that's what's going on whether it makes sense or not that's what it's going on yep